nice and toasty. And this is one of those recipes that you can really plan ahead and go ahead and have everything done. And you could even do it in like a really fun buffet style so your friends are all just kind of picking and choosing what exactly they want to put on it. So I've got those toasted. Next thing that I've done, I've prepped my meat. The way that I have done this is I've gone ahead and formed my patties. And what I do is I brush them with some butter, sprinkle them liberally with salt and pepper. This is all that is going on this meat, so you're going to want to season it really well. And my biggest secret to good tender burgers, like I was telling the class before, the number one rule is to never over mix your meat. You have to make sure you take a fork and you just kind of fluff it like a cloud. If you ever think about when you make homemade biscuits, you don't want to touch the dough a lot. Same exact thing with your meat. You don't want to do too much to it. So I've buttered it. I've formed these into patties. Again, I'm lightly touching it because I don't want to be too rough with it. It'll make the meat dense. So I've brushed it, olive oil, or I mean butter, salt, pepper, and then I'll put a little indention with my thumb. Do you guys know this trick, the dention? Y'all know that one? If you don't know it, do this for your burgers. If you do this, they will not puff up on the grill. They'll just get nice and flat. So those are ready to go. And then I have olive oil, salt and peppered my green tomatoes. Now you can fry these. I'm not against it. I think that's super great. I do that for these burgers a lot. However, for this one, I thought I've already got the grill out. Why don't we grill them? I have this great BLT with a grilled green tomato on it. And it is one of people's favorite things. It's also on my website. So if you're interested in that, you can go search for it. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna throw my green tomatoes directly on this grill. Sorry for that, y'all. I'm getting too close. I'm gonna throw these directly on the grill. And all you're looking for with these green tomatoes is just a nice char. You want both sides to have those grill marks the same way that you would if you were just grilling your burgers. 